Hey there, my name is Tilo. I'm with TNT Power Group. We're actually on site today with one of our latest customers where we installed a four megawatt on-site power plant, taking them off grid completely. Uh, while we're here, I, I thought we'd take the opportunity to talk a little bit about some of the projects we're doing with combined heat and power, continuous power generation, and uh, global adjustment mitigation as well. So combined heat and power is actually really simple. It's just the practice of using a generator to create electricity, but also a useful source of heat. So it's commonly referred to as CHP or cogeneration, among other things. But basically, the reason CHP is such a big deal is because traditional power generation isn't very efficient. So if you put fuel into your generator, you're only getting 35 to 40 percent of that energy content as useful electricity and the rest is just lost as heat. Um, so a CHP generator is actually just capturing that useful heat and allowing it to be used for any number of practices such as domestic heating uh, but also uh, other uses of heat in industrial practices or agriculture or pretty much any other useful uh, practice that can be made use of with the heat. So one of the major challenges facing heavy power consumers in Ontario are the costs associated with global adjustment. So global adjustment has to do with the fact that the market price for electricity in Ontario is actually much lower than the cost associated with generating that electricity. So that debt, that global adjustment fee, is distributed among all power consumers in Ontario and heavy industrial users can bear a huge brunt of that cost. So there's a number of strategies available that allow big industrial customers and other heavy power consumers to mitigate those costs and uh, on-site power generation is, is by far the most flexible and one of the most popular. So CHP is used in a wide variety of uh, facilities. Very commonly you'll see big cogeneration plants on hospital campuses as well as college and universities. And then more recently there's been a big uptake in using CHP for large industrial facilities that can make use of the heat as well as greenhouses that can make use of the heat and also the carbon dioxide from the machine for an even greater efficiency. Um, but in a, simply put, any facility that uses a lot of electricity but can also make use of the heat generated from the machine, uh, they can have a very economical CHP installation. So for our CHP continuous power generation projects and global adjustment mitigation projects as well, um, Efficiency is really important when it comes to selecting a generator. So we're the Eastern Canada distributor for Siemens gas generators and they have best in class efficiency. One of the other big factors to success when it comes to designing these projects is flexibility. Because what might start as a global adjustment mitigation plant that's only turning on a handful of times a year could be transferred into a continuously operating power plant to take that facility completely off grid a few years down the road. And by using Siemens generators, we have the flexibility to be able to do that. 